be my first time uh, having a product on Gumroad. This is free for anybody that wants to get it. But we have a set of 10 damaged brushes. I'm gonna go down through the list. This one I call a braided. And I'm going to show you what's going on with the texture mask. We're using procedural there. And the, the material, I'm using a white image here between the two textures. One's yellow, one's black. And then we're using the pencil layer to drive a bump into the normal. Pretty simple. So, using the black, just right off the bat. This one is called a braided because of the, the edges seem to be a braided. And that basically it's just raking random, give me that. Then the next one on the list, breaking pressure, I used to call them breaking clouds. This one is using a gradient and so the pressure changes the value under the brush from black to white so you can get a lot of really cool effects with changing the, the uh, viewable area. Cracking cells is pretty straightforward. It's just a cell noise that's got a color ramp that has been uh, pushed on it so that it's very, very tight. And so you get this stuff going on here. I can make it a little bit larger. You can see. I have fun with these damages. I, lo I just love messing things up. Now these brushes can be used also instead of a stencil, they can be used as, uh, you know, set different colors to uh, maybe multiply against the texture or you can use them to actually erase alpha or add alpha onto an image using alpha above another one. This one is diagonal gradient. Also a pressure. I just fell in love with the, the idea of having this random kind of damage. You can undo damage from something else. This one is drag scrape. So, oop, wrong color, gotta switch back. Anybody didn't know that, you can just press X and it'll invert your brush. You can use this little icon here, but just press X. Pretty cool stuff. This one's fibers cracks. And let me just turn it around a little bit and get some over here. You can almost kind of feel like it's almost like an elephant skin. But it's definitely different than the regular scratch scratches. Scratches being the straight movement. This one's a flat chip. It's random. It get you a nice little chips out of it. Kind of like uh, somebody's done dropped something in, in amongst the tools and all the paint's kind of scratch, scratched off. Okay, here's a random scratch. There's been a couple of different versions of scratch, but this one's got two. The only problem with this one is that it doesn't do me any good to switch back color because for whatever reason, the texture and the texture mask kind of compound each other. So because of that, one's taken out of the, this one is going, the brush, and this one's being subtracted. So anyway, so. Maybe smaller. Oh, 
charger. This one's scraping. Because of the way that these work, you can kind of go back and forth with the black and white, and you can make more interesting damage by putting up one damage over the other, like that. This one's like a wear gradient. It's just a matter of that area is worn out. Kind of knock it out pretty quickly. And then... And that's about it. So this is going to be a set that I have on my gum road. I'm going to put the link in the description. And this file will be free if you just type in zero. I mean, if you want to tip me, send a dollar, that's cool. But it's not totally necessary because I know that everybody is kind of suffering right now. If you can use these brushes somehow to make something happen and you can make some money, um, if you can't really give to somebody else, just make sure you take care of your home team. You know, put some food on the table for your kids. Do what you got to do. But as I always say, ART equals FUN. This is fun. It's art, but it's fun. And go out there and paint something. Blender paint is really, really fun. Have a good one.